All right. Hello, everyone. How are you? It's K. So uh, this is the 7th of June, 2022 on Tuesday. So let's check some charts together and see what's happening based on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo today. So uh, looks like we have some active markets, including the JPY and some other pairs. So I have selected a couple of pairs that look good. So I will check these and um, exactly where to enter or where to exit. So uh, yeah, let's get started now. So let me switch the screen. Okay. And uh, as usual, as a quick disclaimer, uh, this content in my YouTube channel is basically all based on my own experience and knowledge. So when you take a trade, please do at your own risks. And also, this is the live stream, so if you can please follow the rules and guidelines on chat, that would be great. Because after all, we're all here to learn. And plus, recently, there are so many fake accounts of mine using my name and creating some uh, fake accounts and spam others. So please be careful. Um, you know, I only do my own webpage, forexk.com, and YouTube, this one, and my second channel, and my Twitter account, and that's it. Um, I never do Telegram. I never opened Telegram account before, so I never do Telegram. And I used to do Instagram, Facebook, but I don't use them anymore. So uh, please be careful. I, I heard some uh, fake accounts of mine on the Instagram, Facebook, so please be careful. And also, I never send direct message to anyone on the social media. Even Twitter, I disable a direct message function because I can't catch up all the messages. So the best way to reach me is by email. So uh, if you receive any direct messages from me through the social media, most likely these are fake. So please be careful. And if you have any doubt or questions, then please always uh, write me an email, then um, I can reply whether it's really myself or not. But most likely, it's not me. Okay, so... Alright, let's see who's here first. Thank you for joining, everybody. Again, good to see you. Alright, uh, Minoru Endo, thank you for joining. And how are also good to see you too. Alright, uh, he says pound Swiss run, so let me check that. Okay, I will come back to your comment. But let me say hi to everyone right now. Blackwater, thank you for joining. He says zero CAD bearish trend is stable since last week. All right, let me check that one too. Zero CAD. All right, and Slimon, thank you for joining. Also, good to see you again. And Arkady, good to see you too. And Carlos, good to see you too. Uh, Richard, good to see you too. And Cal, thank you for joining. All right. Well, Cal says I managed to make profit of 100 pips on the USDJPY. Thanks for your strategy. That's good, that's good. So, that's the power of the trend follow. That's nice to hear. Alright, and Buta, thank you for joining. And my best, Anne. And uh, Preston, thank you for joining. Good to see you too. And Basam and George, Maharika, Gabby, thank you for joining. And Yar, Alex, Chu, and Tom Sato, good to see you too. And Bakod, Nicholas, thank you for joining. All right, okay, you entered Euro JPY on one of the June, first of the June, okay? Yeah, Euro JPY is also going uh, going up, so I will check that one also. But uh, let me see uh, the other comments first. Let's see. Hello, Jorg, TikTok, thanks for joining. And Mark Gale, also good to see you too. All right. Oh, okay. Mark also says, uh, I have been using a doji breakout with the Kijun Sen pointing properly in the direction and entries have improved so much. Thanks. So oh, that's good to hear. Yes, the doji breakout, if you master it with the Ichimoku Kin Kohyo confirmations, it becomes very powerful. Yeah, doji break, engulfing breaks are uh, my favorite doji patterns, and these are very effective, especially. When the market is trending, it's very effective. So
So that's really good. Yeah, Ali, thank you for joining. Good to see you here. And Chu says, I miss the Zoom today. Oh, yes. There was a Zoom cafe just yesterday on the Ichimoku membership. So, uh, yeah, please, uh, you can join next time, uh, next month in July. I hope you can join. Yeah, we had some nice discussions about uh, each member's uh, story of uh, how they came up with the Ichimoku and how they started their trades, what they trades, what they are struggling, and also we check some charts together. Okay, Tony and uh, Augustine, uh, Raphael, good to see you. Robert, VN3, Muhammad, and uh, X Viper, thank you for joining. And Ivan, also good to see you. Yeah, Ivan, you missed the Zoom Cafe too. Yes, I didn't see you, so yeah, please join the next one. All right, and Prashant, thank you for joining. Good to see you, good to see you again. Welcome back here, Prashant. I hope you're doing well. Okay, all right, let me say hi to everyone so that uh, we have enough people to start with. Okay, Homan Hussein and Dal, good to see you too. Pound JPY, yes, I will check that one too. I will check the all the JPY pairs today as they are all moving up. But there are good JPY pairs to follow and there are not good JPY pairs to follow. So I will talk about these topics too today. All right, Abhilash and Tess, good to see you. And Anelok, yes, CADJPY, I will check that too. Yeah, so lots of pairs, lots of markets to cover today. All right, Ajay, good to see you. Thank you for joining. And I'll be back. Muhammad and Peter K, thank you for joining. And uh, Charles, Leanne, good to see you too. All right, Hussein, also good to see you. Yes, looks like I have many comments about the JPY pairs. CAD JPY, Pound JPY, in USD JPY, I will cover these also. So please bear with me um, a few minutes as I start to cover these. All right, thank you for joining everybody. Arvind and uh, Giang, good to see you too. Okay. Oh, Giang says, what is your major before becoming full-time trader? I was a full-time worker at the human resource. I was working on the human resource department and dealing with the uh, employee relations and hiring uh, employee evaluations and so on. All right, Ichibashart and Paul Baharat and uh, Vixen Sowell, Real Slav, thank you for joining. Good to see you, New Tech, Kevin, Karun, Fibonacci, and uh, Taufik, and James. Also good to see you. All right, so now let me switch screen and uh, check charts on the Forex first. So first, I will cover the JPY pairs, and then I will cover the Euro pairs. Euro pairs uh, looks to be active today, so I will check the Euro, USD, and the USD CAD also, I will cover it. All right, so let's see. So first, let me cover the JPY pairs. So I will cover from the Euro JPY. Um, Euro JPY has been stably bullish. This is nice. It broke the resistance uh, three days back, uh, and then it's just going up right now. So this is uh, the market is on right now on the um, 141.65 while wow, the market has been flying up all, all the way to the high so however you have to realize one thing you know when you look at this pair you, when you look at this chart this is a daily time frame and you have to not notice one thing and what do you think it is can you can I ask to everyone if i see this situation if they, if i see this market i don't feel positive to buy because of this one reason and i just wonder if you can uh capture that but yeah euro jpy has been bullish for the last uh one or two weeks almost so yeah 
is strongly bullish. So let me check the weekly. Let me check the weekly and I will squeeze all the way. And looks like there was a... The previous resistance was here. 141.04 and it's, uh, it's now on 142.03. So in terms of resistance, it's okay. We have no resistance above. But if you look at the daily chart or if I look at the daily chart, I don't go in. And I wonder if you can capture the reason based on the Ichimoku confirmation. Okay. Oh, I get many comments. Okay. So yeah. Everyone, everyone is correct. Yes, I see I wave plus the Kumo is too thin. Yes, so well, I'm glad that you can uh, you notice this uh, binding. You see Kumo is too thin. So Kumo thin means that this is bullish in the long term, but uh, this is overbought. So the market can retrace backwards. Yeah. So that's why I don't feel positive to buy in this one. You know, just simply if you look at the price, it has been up. So you may think that this is overbought and that it may be true because there, it has been no retracement, no bearish candles. It has been consecutively bullish candles. So in that reason also, this is overbought. But if you are the master of Ichimoku, then you have to notice this thin kumo. So we have a thin kumo, so it may be trace, and I will skip this one at least for today or tomorrow. But instead, take the thick and long kumo on other JPY pairs. So remember this shape of the kumo on the Euro JPY, and I will switch to USD JPY. Okay, here we go. So, USDJPY Kumo looks much better, right? It looks much better because the, it's, it's got a thickness to it. So, USDJPY looks good to buy. However, there's also one thing, is that Tenkan-sen and Kijun-sen are overlapping. And if you become a master of Ichimoku, then you have to notice this one too. When you see Tenkan Kijun overlap, that means this is overbought in a short to mid term. Long term is good, it's stably bullish, but in a short to mid term, this is overbought. So, in a short term, it may retrace. So, that means in let's say one hour base, it may retrace and retrace back to uh, it may retrace back to the previous uh, resistance. 131.38 and then goes up. That is possible too because of this overlap of Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. In fact, if you look at the one hour, this is now descending P wave. Yeah, so here is one hour. You see the, the lower highs and lows at the same level. So this is descending P wave. In this case, ever since the 7th of June at 4 a.m. today UTC, the sellers become dominant than the buyers. And that's why it can't renew higher. So the sellers are dominant, and that's why instead of renewing higher, it re renews lower, and, uh, in, uh, the highs are renewed lower and lower. So this is now bearish in one hour. So it may break the support of 132.55, and may retrace back to the previous resistance in the daily chart. Um, so in this case, I prefer to wait for the break of the trend line and then prepare to buy. You see here, the price action becomes very important. You know, just because the Kumo is moving up, just because Kijun Sen is up, you can't just buy. You have to always look at the price action and uh, see how the price is moving and then confirm whether to buy or not. So since it may, it's about to break the support, I will stay away and come back out at, the, at this trend line breakout. Um, if you are using TradingView, you can put the alert on the, on, the, on the trend line itself 
you can right click and add alert in trading view and uh, I will choose a crossing when the candlestick crosses uh, this trend line it gives me alert so only once an open ended and I'll also click on the notify on the app and then I will just uh, yeah do that right now so that once the market breaks once the market close becomes above the trend line it get notified then I can come back and uh, see if you can enter there yeah so that's what I what I'm waiting for on the USJPY but uh, yeah so Kumo thickness becomes very important and that's one lesson for today yeah John on that's right you are very good students yes <laughs> yes okay so now let me cover the next JPY pair so focus on the Kumo shape, right, this time. So here is the pound JPY daily time frame. So here we go. So what do we see here on the Kumo itself? Kumo is, hasn't twisted yet, right? This is still bearish Kumo. It hasn't twisted yet. So this uptrend may not so trustable. So that means it may turn bearish anytime. So that means pound may get weaker at some point so although jpy is weak pound could be weaker and the market will range that is my view on the pound jpy on the daily chart however we had some nice kumo breakout so for now it's bullish so in this case instead of taking the daily to follow i would follow the four hour time frame because four hour looks good it has been bullish now and uh the tenkan sen is bullish and kijun sen flat so i wait until kijun sen point up this way and kumo keeps point, pointing up and i will enter the trace so most likely i wait for the break of 166.24 and buy afterwards so i will put the upper row above that level so that you know that will be the perfect buying timing at the breakout so that's the pound jpy but most likely it breaks is my view because if you look at the one hour one hour has been supported by the trend line you see uh once or twice and three times and four times of the bounce here so um it has been nicely supported so right now this is ascending p wave a uh, higher um, lows and uh, highs at the same level basically at the same level so this is ascending p wave uh, we can find more buyers and sellers in the market in one hour plus kumo single span a is up and kijun sen is up and chikol span above candles so both Kumo, uh, both Ichimoku confirmations and the price and price action confirmations are met. So this is bullish, and I'm expect expecting the market to break the resistance. So yeah, but once it breaks, I will prepare to buy. So again, pound JPY looks the best so far among J the JPY pairs to trade because. Uh, it has ascending p wave in one hour but if you can remember on the usdjpy this is descending p wave in one hour so if you happen to find these two pairs you better choose the pound jpy to buy so that's what i found on this right now however again daily chart is still you know kumo hasn't twisted yet so it may be traced back or at any time. And with that in mind, you take a buy and uh, you try out the profit along the way. But as soon as the market reverses, you better exit is a strategy. So that's pound JPY. So let me move on to the other JPY pairs. So the next one I will talk about is the AUD JPY. So AUD JPY, what do you see here now it's clear that the market has been resisted 
by the previous resistance. 95.75. And you know the reason why it was resisted. And that was because the Kumo was too small. So when Kumo is either small or thin, you can't trust the direction. I mean, uh, when the resistance is near, it tends to be resisted like this and the market reverses backwards. Uh, especially it works on the daily time frame. It can also apply in a 4 hour or 1 hour, but uh, especially if this happens on the daily time frame, I wouldn't enter the trades. That's why I stayed away from this pair, actually. So, I hope you didn't get stopped out on this retracement. But if Kumo was looking good, if Kumo was uh, long and thick enough, then uh, it, that means the market is stably uptrend and it can break the resistance very nicely. Okay, so yeah, AUTJPY, we have to stay away for now. We can't expect the market breaks the resistance. So next one is the CADJPY. So CADJPY, if you look at the price, it has gone all the way up. But just like the USDJPY, this one is also a bit overbought because of the Binkumo plus Tenkan Kijun Sen are very close. So yeah, it, stop, it stops me from trading also because of these situations. So I'm staying away right now. So the best pair so far among the JPY pairs is the, um, I would say, um, the CADJP, uh, sorry, pound JPY 4 hour. Once it breaks resistance, it's good. And also, if you look at the 4 hour, the CAD JPY is also good. Uh, you know, daily chart, it may retrace, but um, in a 4 hour, it looks nice because uh, Kumo is thick and long enough. It also, the Kumo is getting thicker and thicker as it goes on. So this shows the market is gaining the buying power. Buying pressure is getting higher and higher like this. So this is good. Um, and also Kijun Sen is pointing up. So, and if you look at the one hour, um, just like the pound JPY, this one is also ascending P wave. So I'm expecting the market breaks the resistance 105.59 and once it happens, I will prepare to buy. So that is my trading plan on the CAT JPY. Yeah, one hour also good. One hour Kumo shape is also good. So it's trustable. But if one hour Kumo is thin, while a four hour Kumo looks thin, thick, and it also stopped me from trading. I'm not gonna trade if one hour Kumo is thin. Because in one hour, it may be trace. So let's see if this Kumo is thin, like this, right now. But a four hour Kumo looks good so far. But one hour, if one hour Kumo looks thin like this, then most likely it won't break, but it will be resisted. And retrace backwards in one hour base. Maybe reduce, uh, retrace back to either Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen. And then it will be supported by the Kijun Sen and most likely goes up this way. And by the time the market breaks the resistance, Kumo Senko Span B will be flat and goes up like this while Senko Span A continue to be bullish like this. And that will make the Kumo thick and long. So the retracement causes the Kumo thickness contributes to the Kumo thickness, and that's what we have to wait for when you see the thick, uh, when you see the thin Kumo like this. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, right now CADJPY one hour Kumo looks good, so we can. I th most likely I expect the market breaks the resistance and continues to be bullish. So finally, looking at the Swiss franc JPY. All right, Swiss fund JPY, uh, it was also resisted by the resistance level 136.20. One, 
and now it's retracing backwards because the Kumo was a bit too small. It was a bit newborn Kumo, so it was resisted and now it's retracing backwards. So, yeah, like this Kumo shape is, I think, one of the main topics for today. Focus on the Kumo shape when the market is about to break the resistance or support. Okay, so now um, let me check some other pairs. Uh, I also checked, uh, I was also watching the pound CAD because it just broke the support. Yeah, so here's pound CAD. So pound CAD, this is a daily time frame. And uh, Kumo looks good. Kumo Senko Span B down, A down. And it's thick and long. So this is nicely down Kumo. However, if you again look at the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, they are overlapping. So this means that the market is oversold in the short to midterm. That means it may retrace, retrace a bit. And as it retraces backwards, what happens is that the Kijun Sen first becomes flat. And most likely Tenkan Sen keeps going down. And as the market retrace, as the market continues to go down this way, at some point, Kijun Sen will point down, and you see distan distance in between Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, and then you can prepare to sell afterwards. And in fact, we have a um, Doji on the daily time frame, exactly on the candlestick right now. This is Doji. So Doji means that today it's a range. There is no direction in terms of the daily time frame today. So you have to, if you are trading to sell uh, and if you're running some profits, then you can still keep holding. But uh, if you are in a loss, you better exit. Yeah, because it may be supported and retrace backwards because of the, um, uh, you know, because of the overlap of the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen on the daily chart. And if you look at the 4 hour, 4 hour chart looks good though. 4 hour time frame look, looks good because Kumo is going down. Kijun Sen is going down. But what you find is the Doji, consecutive Dojis, and this is also inside bar Doji. So for the last 3 hours almost, sorry, uh, for the last uh, 10 hours almost, the market has been range. So no direction and we better not to trade in this case it may retrace back to Kijun Sen so it's better to stay away so and also um, EuroCAD was also looking interesting because uh, we have this uh, single span A is pointing down but overall Kumo looks flat but uh, you do have this uh, Tenkan Kijun dead cross below Kumo. And if you look at the one hour chart, the market has been resisted by this um, descending trend line. It has been resisted uh, once and twice, three times so far. So, and it's about to break the support 1.3420. So, once the market breaks the support, I will be going in and prepare to sell. So yeah, in that sense, EuroCAD looks good. And today we have no big news. So in that sense, we are safe. But tomorrow, as for the news, we have um, in Japan, there will be a, a GDP, gross domestic product uh, uh, report. So it may impact the JP pairs in some way. But uh, my guess is JPY continues to be weak. Um, so I guess uh, tomorrow, my view is the JPY, JPY pairs continue to be bullish. But uh, you know, we can't really trade by the luck. We can't trade by the gut feelings. So. Once the market retraces by this news, we have to exit or we have to hold until it continues to be bullish again. 
So make sure if you're trading the JPY pairs uh, today, before you go to bed tonight, before the Japan opens tomorrow, you have to at least set the break even, at least fix some profit on the trading stop, and um, go over this uh, JPY news because it may suddenly spike. So that's my view on the JPY pair. So uh, yeah, again, let me check some comments now, but thank you for joining everybody. As always, I really appreciate your comment and support in this community. Okay, so I have covered the, all the JPY pairs and also EuroCAD and PoundCAD. Okay, so let's see. Oh, Alfonso says, uh, I think, Skay, your good way, you explained your strategy, makes me to be close to accomplish the target in the evaluation trial for the prop perm. Okay, and still 50% of period remaining. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Yes, please uh, keep, keep going and keep up with your good work. I mean, uh, we can't really trade by the intuitions we have to always trade by based on the strategies and based on the confirmations so you know are you as long as you keep your rules with discipline that should be fine yeah i just popped up the comment on the on the screen so yeah but thanks for the comment for this Oh, yes, okay. Also, thank you for your comment. It says, Peace and politeness, I wish the films also supported Persian translation. Yeah, right now, this one has a, a English subtitles, but uh, that will be reflected after I finish the live. But uh, unfortunately, there is no translations, but I hope uh, you continue to learn. I will try to explain as easy and simple as possible on this life. You know, Ichimoku can be complex. Ichimoku can be complex. Ichimoku can be um, sophisticated. Ichimoku can be conceptual. But uh, we are here to trade and make profits. And we are not here to become a Ichimoku, um, Ichimoku knowledge master. We have to be able to apply this knowledge on the live trades and that's the whole purpose of me doing the lives. So, but in order to understand the Ichimoku correctly and deeply, you have to know the basics first. And that's something I share on the YouTube also. For example, like the Kumo shape. You know, whenever you see Kumo is thin like this, you better stay away because it may retrace. Uh, especially, uh, I think it was Euro JPY. Yeah, Euro JPY come out with very thin, so when you see this, you have to stay away. This is the basics. Visually, it's so easy to identify, but uh, you know, uh, unless you, have, you know it, you know you won't realize. Okay, so let me check some comments. Uh, Rung says, uh, Hi K, can you explain the round number effect in the price action? Does each time frame have different round number effect? Thanks. Um, each time frame have different round number effect? Um, no, I don't think so. Round numbers are round numbers. So like 140, like uh, it was, there was a resistance level in the Euro JPY and it was a round number 140. You know, technically it was 140.21, but uh, you can you can think that this is very close to 140.00, and together it was a resistance. So you can expect once the market breaks resistance at the near non, near the run number, it tends to go up this way. So now the price is on 141.86, and next run number is 142. So that can be also a target. 142.00 is also 
a target. And then 143 and so on. Uh, but it, as for the price action, yes, at the run number, it may be resisted with trace. So, yeah, run, run numbers are psychologically important because it, it can become a resistance and support along the way. And plus, uh, when the market reaches at the run number, and if you see the Kumo thinness like this, it may retrace. In this case, it just broke and goes up. And this happens also because um, nothing is 100%. If I can just uh, do bar replay, like this maybe uh, two candles back here, you see a Kumo thin. And then uh, the market could have retraced backwards from here because the Kumo thin is small. But uh, in this case, it just broke. So you wait for the break of the break of the resistance, and this was a day, third of June. It closed above the resistance, one forty point two one, and you can trust this breakout and start to buy from tomorrow, next day, and it just goes on like this. But uh, it's good to know. It's good to know that the Kumo thickness, because so that you can prepare psychologically, it may retrace. And when it really retraces, you know when to exit. So Ichimoku helps to prepare psychologically. Also, the potential retracement, resistances and supports, like in this way, by the Kumo shape. Okay, uh, CryptoBit says, uh, Konnichiwa Keisan, uh, what is your average maximum pips for the stop loss? Uh, my max pips for the stop loss is uh, 40, 40 pips. Um, well, I would say 40 pips max in average. Sometimes I take 45 uh, if it's reasonable. Sometimes, you know, there are some weak and the weak low can be 45 but uh, in average max pips for stop loss for me is uh, 40 pips but make sure you don't set the stop loss too tight like 10 pips or even 5 pips is too tight so it's better to have enough width to the stop loss okay um ali says uh, Mr. K in Cat JPY in a four hour Kumo. Hold on, let me see. Cat JPY, four hour Kumo. And others are great, but in the daily, you said that the Kumo is not good. Right. Cat JPY also Kumo in the daily is too thin. Yeah, and Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen are too close together. Yes, on the daily time frame. These situations makes me confused. Please guide me. So in this case, you don't take the daily time frame. In this case, you simply ignore the daily time frame and stick to the four hour time frame to follow. So as long as four hour continues to be bullish, you follow it. And once it retraces, you exit. Because uh, the four hour has stable uptrend but not the daily time frame. So this is my strategy, is that I take either daily time frame or the four hour time frame to follow. Whichever is good, I follow it. I take it and follow. So in this example, um, let me split the window into two. On the left, I put the daily. On the right, I put the four hour so that you can compare. So you see daily chart, Kumo is thin. So that means it may be trace. But 4 hour Kumo looks good, but most likely it breaks the resistance and goes up, is my view. Right, but after the breakout, at some point it may retrace backwards in the 4 hour. And then it may be supported and continue to go up this way. It's possible too. However, what I mean by the Kumo shape thin in daily means. Once the market starts to retrace backwards, 
it can continue to go down this way. Go down to the Tenkan Sen on the daily. That's what I mean. That's what I mean by the overshoot. Uh, the, uh, overshoot in terms of this potential retracement in huge bips. But 4 hour is stably bullish, so we can follow the 4 hour, and as long as it goes, you try all the profits along the way. But once 4 hour starts to retrace backwards, you exit. It's what I mean by the 4 hour to follow. And in the daily chart, it may look like this. And but because this is overshoot on the daily chart, it may retrace. Once it starts to retrace, it may retrace all the way back to the Tenkan Sen. That means if you follow the daily time frame and put the stop loss below the Tenkan Sen, first this is too wide. Like uh, if you put the stop loss below the Tenkan Sen, that will be all the way down like this, uh, like 341 pips. This is too wide. You can't wait until the market retraces back to Tenkan Sen. You may have too huge drawdown in this case. Um, but if you take the 4 hour and decide to exit on the Kijun Sen, in the 4 hour, distance is only like a 90 pips. So as compared to the daily Tenkan Sen, 4 hour Tenkan Sen is much closer. So you can take the 4 hour as the exit timing too. So again, what I mean by the daily Kumo thinness means once the market starts to retrace, it goes backwards very sharply back to Tenkan Sen at least. Or it may reach down to Kijun Sen if it breaks Tenkan Sen on the daily. Uh, but 4 hour has been stably bullish. It also has been um, supported by the Tenkan Sen once and twice before. So as the market goes up and retraces backwards, it may also be supported by the Tenkan Sen and goes up this way. But, but once the market breaks the Tenkan Sen, you better exit. Because then it may retrace all the way back to the daily Tenkan Sen again. So this, will, this may sound confusing because I'm actually talking in two different time frames. But uh, if you master this concept, it becomes very powerful actually. Yeah, and that's what I do. Plus, I also watch the 1 hour and 30 minute time frames and uh, decide which time frames to follow. But uh, if I see more examples, then I will continue to talk about it. So, yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, continue to ask me. Okay, so let me see. Let me check some, some other comments now. Okay, will the JPR carry trade continue for the foreseeable future? Yeah, most likely JPY continue to be bullish is my view. Yeah, because of the rate, because of the interest rate has been negative on Japan. Um, yeah, I think the JPY continue to be bearish is my view. Yeah, in terms of the economy, economy in Japan, it's not really good because in Japan, you know, um, yeah, when the we when the yen is weakening like this, Japan tends to be open to the foreigners, encourage the foreigners to visit Japan, and uh, you know, uh, travel and purchase some souvenirs in Japan because JPY is weak. But uh, right now, government started to be open to the foreigners, open the gates and the foreigners but uh, still not fully open. So uh, yeah, we say this is, this is a bad week yen for Japan economy. But uh, yeah, my view is in terms of this uh, Ichimoku technical indications, JPY continues to be weakening on the Forex. Oh, L, thank you for the comment. The best Ichimoku analysis in the all YouTube. Thank you for the comment. I really appreciate. 
like computer says, what page you use for the economic calendar? This one is uh, from fxstreet.com. This is fxstreet.com. Simply click on the economic calendar and you can have access to this web, web page. Yeah, what I like about this calendar is uh, these numbers automatically renews by itself. So I don't have to refresh every time I can keep updating on these outcomes on the news on this website. Okay. Um, let me check some other comments now. Okay. Uh, Alexander says, um, can you please the cat JPY on the five minute time frame to find a good point of entry? I can see two confirmations, bandwalk and stochastic cross. All right, let me check uh, cat JPY. Um, okay, also Paul and Yar also says uh, uh, pound, uh, cat JPY breakout in the five. So let me check the cat JPY. And as we talk, the market situation changes. And that's why I do this live. Before I was recording the videos and recording videos in different timings in the day and put together and make one video. But it wasn't real time. So I can, you know, kind of manipulate on what I say. But uh, yeah, because I do the live on this YouTube, on the live markets, I can't tell a lie. I can't edit the the previous uh, things that I talk, and that's why I think this is a good idea to do live. But anyways, uh, CADJPY, yeah, it was breaking, but now it's retracing backwards. So yeah, I think you saw the five minute breakout as in here. Like uh, 20 minutes ago, there was a breakout. But then it became fake and now it's retracing backwards. So in this case, I prefer to wait for the one hour candle one hour and the close becomes above the resistance to buy. Yeah, we we can't trust a five minute breakout. Because five minute is very small time frame, and five minute or fifteen minute time frame breakout can be fake. So whenever you talk about the breakout. You have to take the one hour to confirm. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's see. How I says, uh, hi, case and say, please help me to check pound Swiss franc. Thanks. Okay, pound Swiss franc. Let me see. This is our first time check the this pair for today. So pound Swiss franc has retraced all the way back to the Kijun Sen. So um, yeah, looks like it's breaking the Kijun Sen and going up to the Kumo now. So this is bullish in a short term. Let me check the four hour. Four hour is um, is about to break the resistance. Previously it was a Doji, so I prefer to wait for the break of the Doji. 1.2232 and buy afterwards. I put the upper row above that level. Target to the resistance all the way up here. 1.2445. Yeah, whenever I see doji like this, it also so stops me from trading because it may be trace. Plus Kumo is flat and thin so this is near the resistance but because of this situation it may retrace so i make sure for this four hour candle close to become above 1.2232 and then on, from next from next candlestick i will start to look into buying it yeah okay Anna says, uh, AUD USD, please. Big thank you. All right. You're welcome. AUD USD. Okay. This is a daily time frame. And daily shows complete flat. It's range. Uh, however, as I mentioned on the Sunday's forecast, 
Uh, this is bullish. It has been bullish ever since the 13th of May. And we have we had Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross and Chikol Span breakout. So what I wait for is the resistance and the Kumo breakout. Because that will be the cycle Koten signal. And from there, the market may continue to be bullish. And that's why I put the upper row above the Kumo. Yeah, so that will be my plan. I wait for the Kumo break on the daily and prepare to buy afterwards. Otherwise, it may be range, it may be trace backwards, we never know which way it go. Alright, Alfonso, you're welcome. Okay, Bander says, um, uh, Sensei, may I know your biggest income for coming from? Is it from Forex trading or other business? It's from the Forex trading itself. Yeah, I have been a trader for the full time for the last nine years, and this is my main source of income. Yeah, and I do this by own fund. By my own fund, I never be into the prop firms, I never uh, traded from somebody else. I have been trading with myself the whole time. Okay, let's see. Monica says, I agree that CADGPY is usually good in the 4 hour. You could also try in a 30 and in, five, in 15. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Yeah, CADJPY has been good on the 4 hour. And I agree with that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, 4 hour trends has been stably since the breakout. 30th May on at uh, 5 a.m. UTC. It has been bullish ever since. Yeah, so 4 hour looks beautiful on the CADJPY. Alright, Powell, thank you for joining. Good to see you. And um, let's see, Mark1 also, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Okay, Neil says, uh, Will pound USD go up because it's at demand area on the monthly chart? Pound USD, let me check. Uh, pound USD. Yeah, again, I wait for the break of the Kuma also. Yeah, now it's a bit retracing in that range. So I wait for the Kuma break on this, on the daily chart. And buy afterwards. Yeah, monthly chart. The last month of May was the Doji pin bar. So yeah, once the market breaks 1.2667 level, if you just ignore the Ichimoku, just look at the price action, it might be a pin bar reverse, and then it can go up continuously like this way. So if you are the long-term trader, like monthly, weekly, and follow then better to wait for 1.2667 level breakout to buy this uh pimba break is also a typical and powerful confirmation for the retracement and again if you put the uh, ichimoku once it breaks that level target will be the monthly kijun sen on uh, 1.3162 because as Ichimoku nature um, once the market starts to retrace backwards while Kijun Sen flat it tends to retrace all the way back to Kijun Sen like uh, in a range this is range the whole month and uh, every time the market comes off from the Kijun Sen it always comes back to Kijun Sen once it takes off from Kijun Sen it always comes back to Kijun Sen. So now we have the pin bar and what if the pin bar breaks? That means the market comes back to Kijun Sen on the monthly chart. This is the Kijun Sen retracement strategy in the range. It works a lot. So yeah, I wait for 1.2667 level to buy. 
And coming down to the daily time frame with that in mind, you can buy technically at this breakout, but on the daily time frame, there's a Kumo here. And when the market is within the Kumo, yeah, it may continue to retrace back to the monthly Kijun Sen, but within the Kumo on the daily, it tends to be spiky. Like uh, overall is bullish. Overall will be bullish at the breakout, but the, it may be spiky like this, go up and down. Sometimes it may be fake, and then sometimes shoots back up, and then breaks the Kumo like this. So from this reason, to be safer, I wait for the Kumo break to buy. Is what I mean. Or you can technically buy at the breakout of the resistance of the previous uh, monthly pin bar and have the wide stop loss and keep holding in the Kumo and expect it to break the Kumo. But uh, I don't I don't usually place a wide stop loss, so I prefer to focus on the other pairs and come back once the market breaks the Kumo on this one. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, AlexFX says gained 200 pips on CADJPY. Something, okay. Something weird has happened though. I have closed out the swing longs and price closed underneath the one hour time frame Tenkan Sen. However, I'm still in the 15 minute time frame long as it hasn't. Um, okay. Closed Price closed underneath in one hour time frame Tenkan Sen, however, yeah, so that's, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what has happened, but uh, the fact that you are still keep holding, so you can still be in a trade. Yeah, it's about to break the resistance, so you can still be in a trade. But uh, yeah, that's kind of strange. Lies crossed underneath one hour ten consensus here. I think like two hours ago, or sorry, yeah, two hours ago, it was closed below. Okay. Okay, Hassan says, uh, please DXY with Ichimoku, please. All right, let me check. Let me check the DXY for now. I think it's too bullish, isn't it? Oh yeah, it looks like it's it's now turning bullish. Um, daily time frame uh, came above the Tenkan Sen, so it's bullish. Yeah, and uh, but come on flat still. Um, yeah, okay, it looks like the market is now range, kind of. So here there is no direction. Um, it may be though, it may be resisted by the previous support. And um, it may go down from here. So in this case, I would wait for the break of the resistance. The resistance means on the tip of the week here, or on today, 102.83, and once it breaks, follow the uptrend. Yeah, here, uh, because here we don't see any confirmations in direction by Ichimoku, so I will focus on more in the price actions, in the lines. Okay. Okay, John Harris says uh, Hi K, gold range, oil retracement, and silver possible sank cotton on all the daily time frame. Yeah, gold is range now. Yeah, I've checked gold previously, and gold is now range on the daily, no direction, so we better stay away. And uh, silver is also a. Yeah, it's retracing, but the Chikou span below candles, so this is technically bearish. It may be resisted near uh, 22.3 and 4 and go down this way too. 
yeah, looks like there is no recent decent uh, directions. And as for WTI, this is still bullish above the Tenkan Sen. Tenkan Sen is up, Kumo is up, so it's bullish still. Okay, so I'm about to end the live in about, uh, let's see, 5 to 10 minutes, but let me cover some other comments. Sam says, Kaysen, my first time I saw Ichimoku, it seems com uh, complicated drawings, but later on, with price, with a practice, it became like a roadmap with deep meanings, which I use for successful trades. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. And thanks for the comment. Yes, I totally agree with that. Yeah. At first, I thought Ichimoku is a bit complex, and this is also what almost all the Japanese traders think. Yeah, even Japanese traders uh, do not really use Ichimoku because it's a bit complex. So they usually prefer to use moving averages or RSI or MACD or uh, yeah, um, the other uh, indicators like Bollinger Bands. But uh, once you deeply understand Ichimoku, it's better than anything else. Yeah, that's my finding too. Okay, Muchino Frank says, Hi K, I bought yesterday on CADJPY in a 4 hour, no, now running 100 pips. Thanks your strategy. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. It's good to hear that. This is the power of a trend follow. Okay. Yeah, 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 let's see. I think... Uh, yeah, looks like we have some uh, nice, nice uh, trends today. So looks like um, the month of June start is good. The first week in second week now is active. So uh, hopefully this momentum continues along the way. But again, like this, you know, we had some rough months in the month of May. On the month of May, like I did my review on my trace, um, Last th Saturday, I only took three trades, and I thought less is more, and so that I don't lose too big, I kept my account, I kept my money fund, and save it to the next big trends. And looks like this is the month to reinvest my asset in forex. So, yeah, I hope, uh, yeah, the month of June will be good for everyone to trade so i'm sorry i see so many other comments but unfortunately i have to go so i can't cover all these comments but uh, i do watch these comments and enjoy these comments as well so um yeah thank you everyone for joining and watching until the end so i will see you on the next one and until i see you next time please stay healthy and stay safe and also stay gold. Alright, so bye for now everyone. Matane. Thanks so much.